Hey guys, so that was the Kamigawa set, and I love that set quite a bit, but my favorite set, and we just drafted this set maybe a month ago, is this one. I love, love the time spir spiral block. Uh, obviously you have, and that reminds me, one of the cards is like Conflagration or something, has spiked up to $4. So this is the set where you will get the value that you want from you know, this particular set. So I think I have two boxes. We went ahead and we did uh, two drafts of each, uh, meaning we drafted uh, double Planar Chaos, double Time Spiral, and double Future Sight. Now, you can always find really good, unique mechanics. I think that's one of the problems of Ch Kamigawa, was the mechanics just didn't make sense. Uh, ninjutsu or whatever the mechanic was, the ninja mechanic, and you know you have to collect all these trees. It just didn't really make sense to me. Uh, Time Spiral was one of my favorite blocks. Um, it had the reprint cards from you know the older sets, and that was kind of fun. Not anything super strong, but they did reprint a Chroma. Now Planar Chaos is when they redid all the cards, so they copied the card, but then put them in, in a different color, which is kind of fun because. Then it alludes to something else. And these sets are pretty strong. Future Sight, obviously you have the very big bad Tamagoyf. So this set was wonderful to draft. It's still a amazing draft set. Uh, I really enjoy it um, quite a bit. And drafting with friends and having these boxes still available to me is nice. It definitely is nice. We draft at my friend's shop and it pretty much is we can, once we accumulate a plane of chaos or two plane of chaos, we do an eight person draft and then you just keep what you draft and we just play for fun. There's no prizes and no prize support. Uh, it's just, you're playing for fun and you're drafting cards you want to draft. And at least for that draft pod, no one really cares about the money of the cards. So I remember uh, being past a Tamagoyf actually. And this was in, I think January, 2016 or February. Because the guy just doesn't care, right? It doesn't make a big difference to him either way. And I, I took the Tamagoy because I take value picks, which is terrible, I know, but it's really hard to pass off past $180. What is the original Future Sight one? $180, $170 at the time. And I was like, oh, I'll take it to GP Houston to sell, which I did actually sell, and I picked up a, a Modern Masters version of it for much cheaper. So Time Spiral, really fun, um, definitely, it was just a fun block to do. Very creative, very unique. Uh, Planar Chaos was fun because it had all the old cards that you remember, but just in different colors. So that was unique to see like the color pile, pie. Uh, and the Chroma, I remember uh, opening booster packs until I got a Chroma and that was really awesome. And then you know, obviously Future Sight was kind of cool. They had a lot of, uh, at the time, the most popular cards were not uh, Tomagoyf. We never knew that that was going to be the card, right? I thought that one of the cool parts was the full art versions. There was like Pride of the Six Blade and then uh, Ghoul Mass. And there was all these things that were very interesting and that we're still seeing the mechanics today. And the lands were just fantastic because they were not just one set of lands, they were lands that each did something unique. So one of my, this is my favorite set to draft. It is getting pricier and pricier, but I do have a Time Spiral, a Planar Chaos, and a Sealed Future Sight from the case I purchased way back when. Uh, definitely a set that you can get a tremendous amount of value for. Um, and the co commons, the uncommons, they are worth quite a bit of money compared to something like Champions of Kamigawa where you do have top, uh, but outside of top, there's really not that much left. Bye guys.